when we're talking about GDP, we're talking about how much is produced in a country. And the coronavirus has led to some pretty dire predictions of what's going to happen to GDP over the course of this year. One of those forecasts is that GDP could be as low as it was in 2011 after all is said and done. That's pretty bad. Economic growth in normal times is usually fairly slow, fairly small, but it, um, it is consistent and it's consistent upward. The real growth rate of 2% annually causes the economy to double about every 35 years according to the rule of 70. So what happens if the economy is forecasted to be 29% smaller at the end of 2020? And that's what it would be if it goes back to what GDP was in 2011. If that happens, GDP ends up ends the year at $15.4 trillion. That's a lot of money, of course. That's, you know, if you were the only the world's only trillionaire, you'd be sitting pretty. But this is basically moving us backward in time. Think about what was going on in 2011. Do you remember? Well, in 2011, Angry Birds was all the rage. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 was coming out, and Uber was just getting started. But that's nine years ago. Where were you nine years ago? Maybe sitting on the couch playing Angry Bird, watching a tape of Harry Potter. But that's pretty bad for the economy. Reverting back nine years into the past is a pretty significant problem. So if those forecasts are correct, that means we're, we have a lot of work to do to try to get us back to where we started the year 2020. 